Happy holidays everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's episode, before I start, let me show you this video. This is such an exciting experiment with Pokemon and then the side seed. So when I first done upon this video, I was thinking, I have to know, how did they do that? And then I saw this video first time on Instagram. I realized this creator or the person who share, because her name is about the prompt, right? So I assume this person knows everything that he posts is originally made by him. I didn't really question anything. And he was, he tagged Runway. But what I know, Runway, it seems like quite hard to get this consistent look of different Pokemon, different side scene. Um, so I was like, maybe it's just not Runway. I wasn't sure, but I did a little digging and I find this original creator on Twitter. So this is her Twitter name, Rain Hayat Klinsin. I have no idea how to pronounce her name, but this is the original creator because she gave exactly what tool she's using and it, which is really easy. So I want to shout out to those people who share content online, either on Instagram or Twitter or any kind of social media platform, please figure out who made it first and then because in that way you're not going to misleading people i could have spent hours on runway trying to figure out how to make this happen but anyway i'm so glad i think i figure out who the original creator is and i want to shout out her name and she always posts a lot of interesting content about ai on her twitter and all of them she'll indicate what exactly she did and how, what kind of tool she's using it's really helpful for us because we're not going to spend so many hours on something that you know, it's not the original tool. Of course, in the future, probably something easy gonna pop up. But again, I wanna know who's the original creator, who had this idea and how it was made. And it turns out it's so easy to do. So today I will show you how I used the character of one of my projects to try out this tool, which she mentioned is actually Google tool Whisk. I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard about it. There's a function in Whisk that create something, create some magic where you can add a plush toy so it's a plush toy with the subject so the subject is can be a side scene or a street cafe that's what the original creator is trying um some side scene and they will combine so it's a blending mode blending to these two images together so yeah let's give a try and see how it turns out so i decided to use this character called starlong bunny that i've been working on for the past year so this bunny is actually a very interesting character. So I will show you uh, a book. Back in 2006, one of my, my business partner, Kim Counter, made this book about this bunny. Uh, it's a plush toy she brings to with a lot of celebrities, taking photos with celebrities on her photo shoot, Vogue, and with the, it's before social media started. She was even taking photo with Kim Kardashian before she got famous. And then she also had a photo with Jean Paul Cartier, all the fashion, like great fashion designer and it's such an interesting project so the why i bring it up is i want to see how well this ai tool works so since last year we worked pretty hard on bringing this bunny character back to life in the virtual world we want to create a game about her we want to make a 3d version of her and um we want to make bunny who was born in 2006 before social media come to this virtual world in a new fresh way and i can't stop thinking about how last year we had to spend hours on Blender and try to figure out how to make her walk with like whole summer. That's the, the thing we're trying to do. I'm trying to figure out how well all this AI tool is working, especially for this tool. I wanted to try to use a bunny with um, Toki Tower, let her hug the Toki Tower. So let's see how that works. Let's take a look at this whisk, this tool. So I have to find original photo of Starmon Bunny, not the 3D version. So I find this cute photo of her wearing Chanel. <laughs> it's very cute. Um, and then I add this photo of Tokyo Tower. So I want to see if they can combine these two photos, make her hugging like on top of the Tokyo Tower. I write a prompt first as uh, plush toy, plush bunny climb Tokyo Tower. So the first, oh, it doesn't really climb. So. It's floating around Tokyo Tower, seems not working. I changed to Flash Bunny Hug Tokyo Tower. Let's see if that works. Yes, yes. So Hug works. Like As you can tell, the detail of the bunny is not 100% there. Oh, the 
Tokyo Tower have two. I have no idea why there's two Tokyo Tower. So there are two Tokyo Towers in the photo, so I need to delete one of them. So when you click on the photo that you like, like this one, you will see the prompt. Uh, and the prompt said the actual Tokyo Tower is in, like behind in the background. So I just have to delete that. Okay, let's see. Let's delete that and see if this Tokyo Tower is gone. Oh, cool. Yes. Okay, it's gone. Yeah, the Tokyo Tower is now there. Now it's in the center of the bunny hugging Tokyo Tower. It looks really good. The only thing I'm not too satisfied is for a Star Wars bunny, the most important uh, character is on her right eye. There's a star inside, so that's kind of the character design. So I tried to add that detail on the photo, on the prompt, but hmm, it seems like it doesn't really work well. So I think, I guess I have to use Photoshop or After Effects at this point for details like that. And the, the bunny ear also looks not exactly the same. It's not supposed to be this long. Yeah, so all these kind of details seems not working that well at this moment. That's kind of a shame, but I, I hope in the future it can solve it easily. I can get exactly the bunny details and everything. Or maybe if I try so many times, you could remember the detail. I'm not too sure. In today's video, I just want to try like how easy it is to make things like this. Um, I also tried the 3D model we created. Uh, if the 3D model will make the photo look more like Star Wars Bunny, but it turns out uh, <laughs> it's completely different except the bow, black bow on the top of the head, but um, it's actually going further than the original one, so that doesn't really work. Okay, and I also wanted to make it make into a video. Um, recently, I had a chance to try this tool called Hai Luo. It's a Chinese tool. Personally, I think Chinese AI tool can create better quality video. I'm not 100% sure if that's true, but I think because the model they train is not completely consistent. Um, so as you probably will find a better one, not the Chinese version, but I tried a couple of AI too. Chinese one seems like work pretty well. <laughs> so let's give it a try. I want to make a simple prompt uh, that bunny fell from the Tokyo Tower and see if it, how it works. So let's see. Oh, the first one I tried with Chinese. I'm thinking to see which language works better. But in Chinese, it's, I write like all of a sudden fell off. And then it turns out the video is kind of creepy. I don't know if it's because the way I say it or... So as you can see, the bunny fell off from the Tokyo Tower, but the Tokyo Tower also <laughs> disappeared. And at the end, it she turns into some other kind of animal, like, I don't even know, like bear. <laughs> it's so funny. Anyway, so I was thinking, okay, maybe English is actually a better language for AI prompt because it's more direct and simple. I do think, find out sometime it, it turns out like that. So I did another prompt, just simply say, um, Plush Bunny climbed the Tokyo Tower and fell off. This is the end the video. It's actually really not that bad, right? Like I'm satisfied, I'm quite satisfied with this video and seems like the frame rate is right. It doesn't look off. Consider it just from a plush toy photo into this video is very impressive. So this whole process, this experiment with Star Wars Bunny definitely remind me how fast technology evolves because last year when we tried to make, if we want to try to make video like this, it will take probably months to let it happen although it's not really perfect because I can, as you can see the details on the eye and then the feature are not 100% there but I'm being pretty hopeful for the future about this AI generated video because I, as I'm talking I saw this morning there's another two I wanted to try to show you is a Pika seems like they have a blending mode um, feature just show up as well oh <laughs> so yeah can we catch up everything we i'm just more wanted to work as experiment kind of point of view um and at the same time i feel like as for concept video if you want to show your idea for example you want to make animation and you want to propose this animation to some investor or you want to create your own animation series with ai content or you want to create your own format of creative content online ai can be super helpful because it can save a lot of time to make certain 
work show up. You can explain certain things with very really short time that share your vision with these tools. So there are definitely a lot of possibilities out there. I don't know if you like this and please let me know if you try something, join our Discord server, let's talk about it, share your vision, share your work with us. And please, please, whenever you share other people's work, figure out who's the original creator and we'll know who get idea. And that way we can also figure out how they do it and we can try to learn from each other because I think that's the best part about creating AI content. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please share with a friend, try something out, subscribe my channel. I'll continue to share contents like this. Let's explore together and have fun with it. Have a great holiday, guys. I'll see you guys in the new year. Take care. Bye.